my perfect Smurf catcher. Now to try it out. <sighs> My footprint finding potion works! You gotta keep your Smurf shut or this'll never work. Aha! Smurf Prince! <laughs> it won't be long now, as we have. <laughs> Where could that little wretch have gone? From there, you little blue tree toad! Ha <laughs> 
Ready or not, here I come. Uh-oh. Brainy! Uh, uh, Brainy, I've got problems. Sorry, Clumsy, but it's lunchtime. And lunchtime is not for problems. It's for eating. See? Like they're doing. So? Yikes! My house! Where did these puzzles come from? Uh -huh. My house? Papa Smurf was right. Puzzles mean big trouble. And he'll really be Smurf when he finds out you disobeyed him, Clumsy. Oh, he sure will. Uh, what'll I do? I don't know, but you'd better do it fast. Look. Yes! Oh, Papa Smurf's lab. Oh, 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 uh, hi, Papa Smurf. Something wrong, Clumsy? Wrong? <laughs> well, uh, no, I, uh, uh, I just, uh, so more soup, Papa Smurf? Or maybe some dessert. Uh, uh, better yet, Papa, uh, there's nothing like a brisk walk after lunch. But I haven't eaten lunch yet. Now, what's going on here, Clumsy? <gasps> fuzzles! Clumsy! I warned you, Fuzzles were trouble. Uh, I know, Papa Smurf, and I'm sure sorry. <laughs> They're destroying my lab. Round up every last fuzzle and take them all back to the forest, now. Y yes, Papa Smurf. We're getting closer, Asbury Hell. I can feel it. There. What did I tell you? Smurfs were here. The sawdust is still fresh. It won't be long now. <laughs> have the right idea. more we can do. Guess it's taps for us. The end of Smurfdom as we know it. <laughs> <laughs> it's all my fault. <laughs> yeah, Harmony, that's terrible. <laughs> no, Harmony, keep playing louder. Here comes. 
overcome the Smurfs with all their sickening, disgusting happiness. But we'll soon put a stop to that. I'm not sure, Clumsy. Let's find out. At long last, the Smurfs are ours! All ours! <laughs> Yo! Back, back, I say! Get away from me, you little beast! gone too far this time. I'll get those miserable, rotten Smurfs if it's the last thing I do! <laughs> Baby Smurf, it's important that you learn all about the plants and animals of the forest. Look at this leaf. It's obviously a member of the Arboretus Evergreenus family. <laughs> And look over there, two fine specimens of the Rodentia chipmunca species. Yes, baby, there is nothing like the great outdoors. <laughs> Needless to say, baby, I can identify everything in this forest. For example, this is a, um, uh, uh, it's a, um, uh, oh, how embarrassing. I haven't the slightest idea what these trees are. Uh, it might be a pine tree, or perhaps a spruce. <laughs> yes, it's a spruce, definitely, and it's a healthy one. Don't you think so, Baby Smurf? Baby Smurf, where are you? <laughs> a monster! It's a monster! Woo! <gasps> Unsmurf that Baby Smurf this instant, you m m m monster! <laughs> I'm serious, Mr. Monster. I'm not just smurfing hot air. Whoa! Oh, now you've done it. Now I'm really starting to get mad. Ooh, Don't worry, baby. Uh, your hero, Brainy Smurf, has this uh, uh, problem under control. <clears throat> I will now smurf you with my secret weapon. Papa Smurf! Papa Smurf! Help! <laughs> Papa Smurf! Papa Smurf! A monster! I hate monsters! Hey, what's smurfing on, Brainy? It better be important, because you just woke me up. It was awful. We were attacked by a giant forest monster. Oh. He was huge. He was ferocious. I battled him with all my might. I had him quartered. I looked him in the eye, and then... Wait a minute. Where's Baby Smurf? Uh, I was uh, just getting to that part. Uh, well, uh, you might say the uh, monster just smurfed it away. You mean you ran away and left a little squeezer behind? But, Hefty, the monster was so big and ferocious and I... Brainy Smurf, you ought to be ashamed of your Smurf. This is no time to argue, my little Smurfs. We must save Baby. Harmony, sound the alert. Charge! Pyramus? Pyramus? So there you are, Pyramus. Why must you always wander away? You've made us late for our performance at Lord Balthasar's castle. <coughs> How dare you talk back to me? No, Angelo. How many times must I tell you? Animals respond to affection, not violence. <laughs> <laughs> 
But Mario, I was just... Go back to the circus camp. I will bring Pyramus myself. Oh, very well. I'm sorry, Pyramus. Angelo is young and has much to learn. Come, we have work to do. <laughs> Hurry, my little Smurfs! I can't believe you were such a coward, Brainy. But Hefty, the monster had big, pointed teeth and beady eyes and feet as long as, as, as... I don't care how big this monster's feet are. When I get my hands on them, why, oh... What? <laughs> Golly, guess I wasn't looking where I was smurfing. Come on, clumsy! Smurf a hold of my hand! Hmm, most unusual. This seems to be the footprint of a very large animal. But Papa Smurf, no forest animal has a foot this big. <gasps> it's the monster's footprint. Don't worry, Brainy. We'll protect you. Strange. This looks like the footprint of a... <laughs> baby. <laughs> oh, baby Smurf, you're safe. Hey, Smurfness. Papa Smurf, come and Smurf a look at this. It's the monster! <laughs> Why, that's no monster, Brainy. That's a circus elephant. Well, I, uh, of course, I knew it was a, a circus, uh, uh, an ele, uh, uh, well, one of those things, but it was a rather large one, and, uh... Papa Smurf, what's a circus? A circus is a show full of acrobats, clowns, and animals that do tricks. <laughs> oh, dear. What's wrong with Baby? It seems Baby and that elephant have become friends, and saying goodbye to a friend can be sad. I hate sad. Gee, why don't we put on our own circus? A circus for Baby. Yeah, that ought to cheer up a little squeezer. Oh, boy, <laughs> that sounds like fun. Yeah, yeah, I'll be a circus clown. I hate circus clowns. And I'll be a circus musician. I really hate circus musicians. Okay, farmer, smurf it up. <laughs> the circus tent is up. Liver pate, my master says is fini. I am one good looking clown. <laughs> my high wire act should be the high point of the show. Gee, Happy, you look so smurfy. It's like you're walking on air. Oh, there's nothing to it, Dreamy. That is, if you have incredible balance, superior strength, and plenty of courage. No, tell her this hat won't do either. As a circus ringmaster, I need something taller. Something that will really make me stand out in a crowd. All right, Brainy Smurf, I have one hat left. Here, this isn't a hat. Just tap it. Ah, this is just the hat I've been looking for. There, it's finished. <laughs> Well, Handy, what is this? It's a cannon, Papa Smurf. I built it for the grand finale of our circus. Now all I have to do is find a real live Smurf to be the Smurfy Cannonball. How does it work? You turn this crank to aim the cannon high or low, and this crank sets the power. One turn equals 20 yards of distance. Then you release this lever, and out comes the Smurfy Cannonball. How? Huh? <laughs> I need more room in the elbow, Taylor, and a wider cuff on the pants leg. And don't forget to make both sleeves the same length. And uh, can you fix my collar so that it's even and... Honestly, it doesn't take much for some Smurfs to Smurf their top. Yeah! Oh! Whoops! Oh, 
That was worth waiting in line for. Get around, Smurfs! This is your chance to douse the grouch! I hate douse the grouch! Just top the ball and hit the bullseye and you'll douse the grouch! I'll try it! <laughs> Let's give Baby a chance. I hate Splash! And now it is my pleasure to present the finest, most exciting circus acts in the land. I personally have selected these performers, and if I may say so myself, I really smirk, smirk on with it. Mm -hmm. As I was saying, on with the show. I said, next we have a lazy smurf. Wake up. <laughs> huh? What? Turn on the spotlight. Oh, sorry, Brady. <laughs> next we have the most daring, most exciting, most smurfy act on the bill. I personally believe that this act is without a doubt. Brady Smurf! Smurf on with it! <sighs> Here's Natural Smurf, the Wild Animal Tamer. <laughs> Your hind wire act is next. Um, uh, uh, not yet, Brainy. Let Jokey and Clumsy go next. Well, all right, but you'd better be ready. I don't know if we'll ever be ready. Oh, no! Now just the sight of the high wire makes me dizzy. And now, <clears throat> I said, and now, Lazy Smurf, wake up. <clears throat> and now, the funniest act on our bill. These Smurfs really make me laugh. I was just saying the other day that... Rainy Smurf. Smurf! I know, I know, I'll Smurf on with it. Please welcome the juggling Smurfinis. <laughs> What is it, Andy? Can I talk to you? I'll be right back, baby Smurf. You wait here. I better crank this thing up for the grand finale. There, just enough to shoot Lazy the Smurfy Cannonball into the net. I better check the net to make sure it's ready. <laughs> Hefty, what's wrong? I'm... I'm afraid of heights, Papa Smurf. I got dizzy hanging from a tree today, and now I get dizzy on the high wire. Uh, I'm a coward, Papa Smurf. There, there, Hefty. Everyone is afraid of something. That's nothing to be ashamed of. But I used to be able to walk the high wire with no problem. Then you have to decide if you really have any reason to be afraid. And you need to have a little faith in yourself. You're right, Papa Smurf. I can't come on Smurf. And I can't ruin baby circus. Well, here goes nothing. Poor Hefty. I hope he's going to be all right. This is not what I expected. But Lord Balthazar, this is one of Pyramus's finest tricks. You promise me thrills from around the world. Instead, you show me a stupid elephant. I'm sorry, Lord Balthazar, but you... Did you hear that? The great Balthazar just said what I've known all along. You are stupid. No! No! No, Pyramus! <laughs> Remove that beast! Remove him this instant! Yes, yes, Lord Balthazar. Chain Pyramus to the castle gates. Be gone by morning, all of you, or I'll feed you to my moat monster. Out! Out! And now it is my privilege to present High Wire Hefty! Yeah! I've got to remember what Papa Smurf said. I've got to have faith in myself. <sighs> I knew it. I'm dizzy again! Dreamy, oh! <laughs> have you seen Baby Smurf? Sorry, Papa Smurf, I haven't. I thought for sure I left Baby here. Oh, what a brave Smurf Hefty is. He's doing his act with his eyes closed. Oh, no! 
Hmm. Three cranks should do it for the big finale. Gotta make sure this cannon is cranked up for the big finale. Let's crank up this cannon for the Smurfy finale. Yeah, it'll be a big surprise. <laughs> I didn't know better, I'd say Hefty was in trouble. I think he is, Brady. You'd better smurf on to the next act. Fire the Smurfy Cannonball! Wait, 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 wait a minute, Smurf. Let's think this over. <laughs> Great Smurf! It's Baby Smurf! Come back, Baby Smurf! Elephant again. Ah! Well, what are you squawking about? It's only a baby Smurf. A baby Smurf! <laughs> a baby Smurf. <laughs> Let's see now. If baby was going at 100 miles per hour and the angle of the cannon was 45 degrees... Oh, please hurry, Papa Smurf! Where'd the little squeezer land? Dear, this is most disturbing. According to my calculations, Baby Smurf has landed in Balthazar's castle. Oh. Quick, my little Smurfs, we must rescue Baby. There's no telling what Balthazar might do to our little Smurfling. <laughs> a Baby Smurf. I never dreamed such a thing existed. But now, the Baby Smurf, I can perform experiments I've never done before. And each experiment is more deliciously evil than the last. <laughs> Hurry, my little Smurfs, and be very quiet. Papa <coughs> Smurf! Quiet down, you idiot! If you disturb Lord Balthasar again, he'll feed us all to the Moat Monster! Quietly, we mustn't wake the Moat Monster. <laughs> Come, my little Smurfs, and be quick. No! Be happy, little one. You haven't long. <laughs> what do we do now, Papa Smurf? There's only one way to rescue Baby. Someone must climb up to that wire. Then he must smurf across the wire until he's on that chandelier above Baby. Then he can lower himself on a rope and carry Baby up to safety. You're the very Smurf for the job. Uh, no, I, I, I don't know if that, if... Hefty, you're the only Smurf who can Smurf a high wire. It's up to you. Soon, little one, you'll have a hot bath. <laughs> hurry, Hefty, hurry. Hefty, you're our only hope. But Papa Smurf, I, I still don't know if... Hefty Smurf, you're not afraid, are you? Afraid? Who, me? <laughs> afraid. Give me that rope. Have faith in yourself, Hefty. I'm not even gonna look down. Yes, I will reach new heights with this experiment. Did he say heights? No! <gasps> what? Another Smurf. There must be more Smurf intruders, Raven. Find them. I'm playing with Smurfs. <laughs> Smurfs to experiment with. <laughs> and I shall deal with you, my sweet little Smurfling, later. Stop making all that noise, you stupid oof! First, I shall turn you all into gold. Then I will fetch the little baby Smurf back down here. I will bake it and grind it into powder. Baby powder. <laughs> what? Oh, no, the elephant has gone mad. Stop, stop! Run, 
my little spouse tied. Help! Let me go! Help! Ah! Well, he wanted to reach new heights. <laughs> Great smirks, baby. No! Uh-oh. Hey, you elephant! Lift me up to the little squeezer! <laughs> But you were so high up there. Yeah, I was, wasn't I? And you were not afraid. <laughs> hey, let's smurf out of here before Balthazar gets back. Oh, yuck. I know exactly what you felt. Fear! I, too, have wrestled with fear. But there comes a time in every Smurf's life when he must rise to the occasion and face his fears, no matter what they are. No matter what... Oh, Smurf up, Brainy! I'm glad you found your way back to the circus, Pyramus. I dismissed Angelo, another helper I can get, but a talented elephant like you... Ah, uh, it is much harder to replace. Goodbye, Pyramus. There goes one brave elephant. <laughs> oh, no! Not again! There, there, baby. Even though a friend must leave you, you will always have his memory. <laughs> Papa Smurf, what do we do now? Why, we'll smurf what we've smurfed before. We'll go right on with our own Smurfy Circus for Baby. Your muscles just aren't what they used to be. Ha! Your muscles remind me of Smurf Berry Jelly. Smurf Berry Jelly? Oh. this season. Really? <laughs> well, don't cry, Smurfette. Another Smurf will win someday. Oh, it's not that, Papa Smurf. <laughs> oh, then what's the problem? Well, the Smurfs are all interested in mussels and earthworms and fertilizers. I see. Well, those things are Smurfy for them. But I'm more interested in perfume and hairstyles and Smurfy dresses. I see. Well, um, I would be happy to chat with you about uh, perfume and hairstyles and uh, Smurfy dresses, Smurfette. You would? Oh, how Smurfy! And this dress will be perfect for the marshmallow roast because it matches the marshmallows. Now, next week, I'm wearing this dress to lunch and I'm saving this one for Farmer's Rutabaga Day because, well, because I've never seen one quite like it before. Have you, Papa Smurf? Papa Smurf? <laughs> Back. 
You're it. I don't want to be it. But you're it. But I don't want to be it. Oh, just forget it. Oh. <laughs> to that. <laughs> What's wrong, Smurfette? Huh? Oh, Nat, you wouldn't understand. Would a Smurf berry butter and jelly sandwich help? No, thank you, Slouchy. What I need is another Smurfette to talk to. <sighs> there just isn't one. Poor Smurfette. I wish we could help her. Maybe we can. How? Yeah, how, how, how? Well, uh, first we need to get the right smirk to help us. Then, uh, uh so help us. Oh, yes, my little smurflings, Smurfette is my favorite subject. Next to myself, of course. Oh, of course, of course. Gee, oh, wise and informative brainy smurf. Why is there only one Smurfette? Because, unlike we Smurfs, she was created by a secret formula of Gargamel's. Oh! But enough about Smurfette, let's talk about me, Brainy Smurf. Hmm, I was born very young in life, but hey, where'd they go? Hold still, Ashley, and will you hold still? I don't like taking a bath any more than you do, you miserable beast. But today, we're having lunch at Mummy's. <laughs> Come back here, Azriel! I can't face Mummy's cooking alone! Hey, we're in luck! Gargamel and Azriel are going jogging! Here it is, here it is! What? The Smurfette making formula, you hickory nut! Gee, she sure looks different! She obviously improved with age! Ooh, now we'll have to start all over again, you... Huh? What have we here? Well, 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 we've had visitors, Azriel. <laughs> yes, and it appears they've helped themselves to my Smurfette-making formula. <laughs> Another Smurfette? <laughs> now they'll be twice as happy. Unless... Unless I can use her for the very purpose I once intended. <laughs> to destroy the Smurfs once and for all! <laughs> yes, yes, this magic spell will do nicely. Don't just lie there like a welcome mat for fleas, Azriel! We must get to Screamy Squirmy Grotto before the Smurfs do. <laughs> Some people squirm at the sight of this screamy, squirmy grotto, uh, but, 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 but not us, uh, right, Azriel? <laughs> oh, let's cast the spell and get out of here, Azriel. Azriel, the Smurfs will need a lump of this magic clay to make their new Smurfette. And once I cast this spell, anything made from this clay, when exposed to the noonday sun, will explode! <laughs> <clears throat> Saucers of power, forces of doom. At noontime tomorrow, this clay will go boom. Wherever it's taken, wherever it goes. At noontime tomorrow, kablabo, it blows! <laughs> Let Papa Smurf use his goody-goody formula on this new Smurfette. She'll still have but one day to live. And if we're lucky, Azriel, kaboom! She'll take the snuffs and their entire village with her! <laughs> <laughs> Why they call it Screamy Squirmy Grotto? Uh, uh, it's not so scary, but uh, uh, I wouldn't exactly come here for a good time. You know what I mean? <laughs> good thing Papa Smurf went berry picking. He'd just slow us down with all his. Now, now, my little Smurflings, don't be hasty. <laughs> Sounds like good advice to me. Now, all I do is add the magical blue clay and chant the magic words. Breath of the wind, cry of the loon, howl of the wolf when there isn't a moon. Magical mixture, magical spell, bring forth the smurfette and the sound of this bell. Slap, Oh, yeah. Wow, I'm 
from Gargamel's evil creation to a smurfy little smurfling. yo Sassy! Little Sassy! Where are you? Oh, me. What's the Smurfette to do? I guess I'll just have to take up arm wrestling or start a worm farm. Ah, if there was only another Smurfette. Ah, we'd pick flowers, give each other advice, help each other. Oh, just think of the fun we'd have. <laughs> She's big enough to do the job. At noon tomorrow, two diabolical events will occur. Their new Smurfette will explode. Kaboom! And Mummy will be making lunch again. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> well, 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 it ends well, eh, Papa Smurf? Smurfette's happy, Sassette's happy, Happy's happy! <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry, my little Smurflings, but because you broke the first two rules of Smurfdom, you must be punished. Tomorrow, you will clean the entire village from top to bottom. And that doesn't include Greedy's cookie jar. Yes, Papa Smurf. Oh, Sassy, 
dressing up is the smurfiest part of being a smurfette. <laughs> Don't you think so, Sassad? Sassad! Well, what are you doing? I'm playing possum. Ah, you poor dear. You're not really interested in dressing up, are you? Now, nah, but I'd sure love to throw rocks down by the old lily pond. Well, all right. At least you don't want to arm wrestle or dig for earthworms. Nah, we'll do that tomorrow. Oh. I wonder what Sassette's up to. Who cares? If it wasn't for her, we wouldn't have... Uh, died. <laughs> the time till tomorrow's big kaboom, eh, hey, Azriel? Yeah. Oh, I'm evil, needy evil. I believe I'll go down in history. No, no, in the world he looks like fun me. to me. Oh, oh no. Evil. Take my oh, word I'm for it. Evil. Gargamel is I'm evil. evil. Of course I'm evil. Needy evil. There's no wizard in the world as bad as me. <laughs> Good night, Sassad. Good night, Smurfette. Good night, Pelpy. <coughs> Good night, Sassy. Good night, Smurflings. Smurflings? <laughs> They've had a busy day. Well, what's on our punishment list for today? Grub Village Well. Whoopee! Well, Smurfette, ready to arm wrestle and dig for earthworms? Uh, sorry, Sassad. But it's my turn to help Greedy with the dishes today. Oh, if you really want to dig for worms, Smurfette, I... Ow! Uh, I don't care. You have to help with the dishes. Ah, uh, that's all right. I'll go play with the other Smurflings. Ah, I see my little Smurflings did a Smurfy job cleaning my laboratory. But they forgot to put this cauldron away. Hmm, that's odd. There is something about this clay.
Oh, me and my big fat mouth. I'll tell her I'm sorry at lunch. Hmm. Most puzzling. Most puzzling indeed. Phew. Talk about Smurf to spill on that clay. Great Smurfs! Sasset is made from that clay. <laughs> Any minute, Azriel. Cup. Yeah. Oh, the Smurfs will be blown to smithereens. Oh, I'd love to be there in person to see it for myself. Y yes? What is it? Huh? Yeah. You! Happy Gargamel! I've come to live with you! No, no, don't no, get away from me! Get away, you little blue time bomb! No, 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 I'm not. I'm, uh, go home. Uh, back, back to your village. Uh, you can find it. <gasps> What's the matter, Candy? You and me are gonna be roommates. We must now sass it with this anti-explosion solution before noon. I'm sorry I told her about Gargamel's spell, Papa Smurf. You know how I am when I open my mouth. There she is. <laughs> Don't you want to get to know me, Happy Gargamel? Don't you, huh? No, no. <laughs> They love you so much. They, 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 they really do. For once in your life, Gargamel, you're right. And you do, Wampy? Of course we do. <laughs> Sorry about this. <laughs> I guess Pappy likes to play Fire Brigade, too. That was close. To smurf it mildly, if those clouds hadn't covered the noonday sun, I can't understand it, Asriel. Why didn't this confounded clay explode? It's noon. It's... Oh. Oh. Oh, no! Oh, well, what luck, Asriel. <laughs> We're just in time for lunch. Oh. We sure are glad you're back home, Sasset. But this isn't really my home. I'm still not really a Smurf. Well, Sasset, there is only one thing to do. Adoption. <laughs> we, the Smurfs, adopt you, Sasset, as a real, true, blue, little Smurfling. Just like us. Welcome to the family. Ah, uh, it's just like having a sister. Well, Sasset, will you adopt us? Chatter and chipmunks, of course I will, Pat. Then I, Pappy, uh, Papa Smurf, hereby declare you an honest to goodness Smurf. Hooray! 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 Elgie, you're not pulling that lumber straight. Farmer, watch where you're hammering. Careful with that ladder, clumsy. Papa Smurf always says, work with your hands. And not with your mouth. Little Papa Smurf hears about this. Papa Smurf! Papa Smurf! Andy, this water wheel of yours is a smurfy idea. We can grind the grain faster than ever before. Thanks, Papa Smurf. We should be able to start it working tomorrow afternoon. Okay. When I say go, we all lift the axle at the same time. Let's do it. Hey, where's Dreamy? Gee, I wonder if there's life up there in Outer Smurf. <sighs> I'll bet there is. And they're probably wondering if there's any life down here. Free me! Hey, someone up there is calling me. Here I am, here I am. Free me! Oh, uh, hi, Hefty. Smurf enough! There's work to be done. Must be someone up there. It only stands to reason. Dreamy, watch where you're going. It might even be like Smurfs. Not exactly, maybe, but something like Smurfs. Dreamy! Oh, Dreamy! Stop! Help! Watch where you're smirking. There is no life in outer Smurf, Dreamy, but there is life here. And you better start playing attention to it! I wonder what they look 
like. Maybe they're human or... to accept, Dreamy, but I'll go with you to the forest where you say you saw these things. Oh, thank you, Papa Smurf. Thank you. It's right on the other side of these bushes, Papa Smurf. But I don't understand. It was right there. There was even a hole in the ground. Well, Dreamy, with all respect, I'm afraid I don't see anything. But I saw it, Papa Smurf, and I saw the visitor, too. Maybe you just dreamed it, Dreamy. Now I must go back and help Handy. Oh, hi, Smurf. Who are you? I, I thought I knew every Smurf in the village. Oh, we need that one Papa Smurf, I found him. I found him. Papa Smurf. Papa Smurf, I found it. Come see. Hurry. See? Uh, perhaps you've been working too hard, Dreamy. Papa, you've got to believe me. He's not really a Smurf. He's... he's... Oh, tell him, please. I'll Smurf up a tonic for you uh, when the water wheel's finished. But, but, but... You know what? Do me a favor and go away. I never want to see you again. Oh, 
You look over there, clumsy. Just make sure it's a straight piece of wood and strong enough to support that axle. Uh, okay, Handy. Looking for an axle pain. Looking for an axle pain. Oh. Gee, this sure is a funny looking stick. Look, it's straight and strong. Hey, Handy. Uh, look what I found. Uh, what is it? Will it do? I don't know. I've never seen anything like it. Do you think it'll make a good axle pin? It just might at that. Perfect fit. Okay, Papa Smurf. Open the sluice gates, Hefty. Shouldn't be smurfing that fast. Look, it's glowing. Andy, what did you use for the axle pin? Well, I, uh, I'm not sure, Papa Smurf. I've never seen anything like it before. Whatever it is, we'd better smurf it out of there while we still can. <sighs> what do we do, Papa Smurf? Every smurf, follow me, quickly. I know I saw him. At least, I think I saw him. Gee, it sure is windy all of a sudden. Oh, let's burn this.
That is not the way to wash windows. Your water's not soapy enough. Your cloth's not soft enough. Let me give you a few hints. I hate hints. Papa Smurf! Papa Smurf! Thanks, Papa Smurf. I was just trying to help everyone with their chores. And neglecting your own, I see. You do know, Brainy, it's your turn to fill the water tanks on the fire truck. Oh, yes, Papa Smurf. I am happy to do my part to help the village run smoothly. Like you always say, what I'm saying now, Brainy, is fill the water tank. Be sure that rope is smurfed good and tight, Handy. Everything's fine, Brainy. Just go all away! Uh, looks like the rope's okay, Handy. <laughs> Nobody appreciates good neighbors anymore. Now, what was it Papa Smurf told me to do? Was it? No. Close the shutters! Get the crane to the storehouse! Hurry! I do believe it's easing up. Oh, we're lucky the lightning didn't hit anything. But where am I going to sleep until my house is finished? So you see, Brainy needs a place to smurf for a few days. Will anyone volunteer? You can stay with me, Brainy. Gee, thanks, Handy. You're welcome, I think. Now, this is my latest invention, a corn picking machine for farmer. Wow, how does it work, Handy? I'll explain later. I'm going back to work on your house now. Whatever you do, don't touch the corn picker. Hmm, not a bad job, but it certainly could stand some improvement. I'll just smurf this gear a little tighter. My corn picker! Brainy Smurf! Looks like there were still a few bugs in it, Handy. <laughs> That's gratitude for you. Of course you can stay with me, Brainy. How do you like my new portrait? Painter did this one especially for me. Brings out my subtle charm, don't you think? I have to go plan the color scheme for your house. Don't touch anything. Leave everything alone, okay? It certainly needs something. Ah, I know. One final touch. Perfect! Might as well make a few other improvements while I'm at it. La, 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 la. Oh, I can hardly wait to sit down in front of my favorite mirror in my favorite chair and gaze upon my favorite portrait. Oh, no! My beautiful home! How do you like it, Vanity? Oh, no, no, no! <gasps> that isn't supposed to be there. Well, the place has a more... Casual look now. Some Smurfs just don't appreciate good taste. You have ruined my Smurf furry pudding, Brainy. Still needs a little salt. Nom de plum, my painting, she is ruined. That's not funny, Brainy. You call that music? 
Oh, Papa Smurf, what am I going to do? No Smurf will let me stay with them. That's right. We sure won't. You're a terrible house guest, Brainy Smurf. Well, Brainy, since you've nowhere else to stay, you can stay with me. Papa Smurf, I knew I could count on you. How can I sleep with all that noise? Hmm, most interesting. I wonder what Papa Smurf is up to. Oh, I see. Of course! Uh-oh. Brady, this is the last straw! <laughs> Brady, it's time you and I had a very long and very serious Smurf to Smurf talk. I think the other Smurfs are all too sensitive, Papa Smurf. That's not the point, Brady. When you are a guest in another Smurf's home, you must Smurf by their rules, even if you don't agree with them. But I was simply trying to give them the benefit of my superior knowledge. Of course you were, Brainy, but unless you change your behavior, no Smurf in the village will want you for a guest. Well, I'll just go live by myself in the woods, and then they'll be sorry. This cave should do just fine. Oh, <laughs> pardon me. I didn't know this cave was occupied. You don't mind if I stay, do you? <laughs> Good, then I'll just make myself at home. I'm certain you'll be easier to live with than some Smurfs I know. Hmm, yes, I am certainly certain of that. Imagine the nerve of them throwing me out. <laughs> Why, all I tried to do was improve their lives. I can't even believe that Papa Smurf took their side. When I think of the times that I... Why am I the only one who can take a little criticism? This is one of the worst storms I've ever seen. Any sign of Brady Smurfette? Oh, Papa Smurf, Brainy isn't anywhere in the village. He must have made good on his promise to leave. Brainy is out in that dreadful storm. My little Smurfs, we must form search parties and find Brainy. Brainy! Here I sit, cold and alone, while the other Smurfs are warm in their houses. Why is that? Maybe I owe everyone an apology? Oh, well, I guess it can wait till tomorrow. Huh? Well, maybe I'll go right now. Brady's not down the river, Papa Smurf. Then we'd better check the caves. Papa Smurf! Papa Smurf, look! Smurf Prince! Follow me! It's clear that Brainy is no longer here. Come, my little Smurfs, we'd better... It's a cave in! This way, Smurfs! Papa Smurf! Papa Smurf! Is he all right? I don't know! Give me a hand! We'll use this log! Oh, Papa Smurf! Please wake up! First, I'll apologize to Greedy. Oh, Greedy! 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 Vanity! Vanity! Papa Smurf, anyone home? The entire village is deserted. Rainy Smurf! Huh? Mon ami, every Smurf's been out looking for you. Oh, hi, Brady. Where you been? Say, where's Papa Smurf? He should have been back by now. His party went to search the river and the caves. The caves? Oh, my goodness. If they went into the cave I was in, they're in terrible trouble. Follow me. The log is breaking. Oh, no. Oh, no. Papa Smurf. Smurfette, are you in there? Hello? We'll never uncover the entrance in time. I've got to find another way in. A groundhog hole. Just maybe. If only this leads to the cave. Hurry, hurry! There are so many passageways, I'll never find the right one. Please, my friends are in trouble. You've got to lead me to them. There's no hope. 
This way, quickly. Let's get out of here. Oh, the cologne. Papa and the others, they are finished. Can't you Smurfs lend a hand instead of just standing around? Gosh, they're safe. <laughs> Brainy, your quick thinking saved us all. This time you really were Brainy, Brainy. Thank you, Smurfette. My thoughts exactly. And as for myself, I have learned a profound lesson about being a guest in somebody else's home. You yeah. have? Now that I am truly a hero, however, I expect more consideration when, as an honored guest, I visit your homes. Furthermore, I hope we have all learned something from this experience. As I was saying to Papa Smurf, just the other... What a shame they didn't learn a thing. I wanted you to be the first to hear this. It's my latest composition, the Smurfette Sonata. I wrote it especially for you. Oh, Harmony, you, you really shouldn't have. So, did you like it? Well, um, uh, um, well... Give me your honest opinion now. Well, I, uh, uh, um... Don't hold back. What do you really think? Well, the truth is, it could use a little work. Oh. Oh, well, too much fortissimo in the third stanza, no doubt. <laughs> oh, poor Harmony. I didn't want to hurt his feelings, but I couldn't lie to him. Oh, miserable fate. How could a great wizard like me be reduced to eating these wretched yuck, roots? <laughs> Those horrible little smurfs are to blame. If I could only catch a few, I'd eat like a king. <laughs> Shh, quiet, Asriel. I think I hear one of those disgusting little Smurfs now. La, 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 la. Oh, my, these are pretty. Oh, poor Harmony. He must feel so blue. Maybe I should have told him I liked his sonata. No, I couldn't tell a fib like that. Aha! Seems like you picked the wrong flowers, Smurfhead. <laughs> and where are your little blue playmates? I'll never tell! That's what you think. Before I'm through with you, you'll tell the truth. <laughs> 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 That's just what Mummy used to say. Now, where is that spell? Let's see. Health nostrums, love potions, hate elixirs. What's this? A fib formula? <laughs> How ridiculous. Who needs a formula for that? Ah, here's what I'm looking for. Truth tonic. Once I administer this truth tonic, you'll have to tell me where the Smurf village is. Never! <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. First, I'll need a mortar and pestle. Oh, dear! Ah! Asriel! Get away from her! Ah! Oh, you stupid cat! Now, ah, where was I? Oh, yes, yes. Five viper tongues, one bad egg, four slices pure bologna, six skunk whiskers, and a pinch of fool's gold. Oh, I can hardly wait. Soon I'll have all the smurfs I want. Phew. A little truth tonic, Smurfette? I'll never tell! <coughs> oh, I feel funny. Now, Smurfette, tell me where the village is so I can turn your little friends into gold. Well, if you really want gold, you should go to the Great Oak in the middle of the forest. Uh, the, the, the Great Oak? Uh, but why? The secret treasure of the Smurfs is hidden there. Uh, the, the, the secret treasure of the Smurfs? Oh, yes. In a hollow, high in the tree, you will find gold beyond your wildest imagining. 
Uh, I, I, I will? Uh, uh, high up in the tree, you say? Oh, yes. Come, Azriel. We must steal a ladder. Oh, I can hardly wait to get my hands on all that beautiful gold. <laughs> Replace this one, Brainy. I'll see to it personally, Papa Smurf. Oh, Papa Smurf! Hello, Smurfette. Where have you been? Uh, I was down by the river, playing with the dragonfly. Really? I was just down there myself, and I didn't see you. Oh, uh, oh well, then I must have been over by the mill, playing with the butterflies. Well, no matter. I'm finished with this hammer now. Could you please return it to Handy for me? Hi, Handy. What you doing? Oh, I'm working on my new and improved Diomatic Smurfer for washing babies' diaries. Oh, how very smurfy. By the way, here's your hammer. Thanks, Smurfette. I'll put it away. Oh, please don't let any Smurf touch my machine while I'm gone. I haven't made the final adjustments yet. Oh, I certainly won't. Morning, Smurfette. Morning, Farmer. Oh, what be this contraption? It's Handy's new seed planting Smurfer. He wants you to try it right away. Planting seeds, huh? Sensible idea. Oh. Oh. Hello. Oh. 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 oh no! My new Dardiomatic! <laughs> Last particular invention needs a bit more work, Handy. I know. No one was supposed to touch it. But Smurfette told me you wanted me to try it out. That's impossible. You calling me a liar? You didn't tell him to touch it, did you, Smurfette? Me? Why, of course not. What? See, don't try to blame it on Smurfette. She's lying, honey. You take that back. True is true. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Why, you liar? Oh, 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 oh. Andy, Farmer, stop this immediately. Oh, oh, he wrecked my invention. Smurfette's fault. She lied to me, Papa Smurf. Smurfette? Lying? Is it possible? Hmm. I'd better have a talk with her. Well, Smurfette, I've rewritten your sonata. I'm sure you'll love it this time. And a one, and a two, and a... Well, what do you think now? Oh, it's the most beautiful thing I've ever heard. Really? I'll have to play it for the others. Oh. Excuse me, Smurfette. There's something very important I'd like to ask you. How many fingers am I holding up? Three. I see. And what do you call this? A table. And this? A wheelbarrow, of course. Most peculiar. Uh, one last question. Have you seen Gargamel today? Why, no, Papa Smurf. Hmm. I'd like to look something up in one of my books. Stay right here until I return. Of course I will, Papa Smurf. Some enchantment is preventing Smurfette from telling the truth. Uh, let's see. Health nostrums, love potions, hate elixirs. Ah, here it is. Fib formula. And here's the recipe for the cure. I must mix this at once. Think of it, Asriel. Gold beyond my wildest dreams. The treasure is so near I can almost taste it. I see it, Asriel. Gold. It's mine. All mine. Wait. This isn't gold. It's... it's... it's honey! Smurfette lied to me! Yikes! Yow, wow, wow! Smurfette! Hello, Smurfette? Great Smurf, she's gone! I must find her immediately! La, 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 la! Smurfette! Smurfette! La, 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 la! Smurfette, wait a moment! Why didn't you answer us when we called? Um, I didn't hear you. Ah, uh, yes, I should have known. Ooh, that miserable Smurfette. When I get my hands on her, I'll wring her little blue neck. Shh, Shh. Smurfs. Got him! There they go. Don't let them get away. Papa <laughs> Smurf. <sighs> Find them, Asriel. They can't have gotten far. Have you found them? I can't hear anything. I hope Papa Smurf is okay. We'd better take a look. Go ahead, Smurfette. Are they gone? Yes, they're all gone. Phew, that's a relief. Got you! 
Look, Azriel, I've got six, exactly the number I had in mind. Oh, I'll fry a few and pickle a few and serve a few real cold. Then I'll toast a few and read oh, Smurfs. And this is terrible. If I'd only had time to give Smurf that the antidote. I just hope I'm not too late. I demand you tell me where the secret treasure of the Smurfs is hidden. Treasure of the Smurfs? What is that? Don't play innocent with me. Smurfette told me all about it. Oh, that Smurfette? She tells fibs. Impossible. Why, just this morning I gave her this truth tonic. And... Uh, why, this isn't the page on truth tonic. It's the page on fib formula. We wouldn't lie to you. Thanks to your incredible error, Smurfette's lies have caused the entire Smurf village nothing but trouble. Really? A Smurfette that lies? <laughs> How delightful! <laughs> How amusing! Oh, it's a good thing Papa Smurf cured me. Oh, he did, did he? Well, we certainly can fix that. It so happens I have plenty of fib formula left. <laughs> It's a pity I can't spare you, Smurfette, but as you know, it takes six Smurfs to make gold. <coughs> oh! Gargamel! There's a big bear right behind you! Oh, really, Smurfette? <laughs> what a ridiculously inventive lie. I'm glad my potion works so well. Listen, not now, Azriel. <coughs> no need to get so upset, Az... 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 Smurfette, you told the truth. <laughs> I took the liberty of changing Gargamel's formula, and Smurfette is cured. Oh, Papa Smurf, thank you. So, you are here all the time, eh, Papa Smurf? Well, <laughs> I'll be Smurfed. Papa Smurf, I'm really sorry about all the trouble I caused. That's all right, Smurfette. I just hope you've all learned that lying can cause nothing but problems. Does this mean that you really didn't like my sonata? Well, um, um, uh, 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 well, I'm sure Smurfette likes your music, um, uh, well, uh, just as much as I do, Harmony. Really? <laughs> oh, Papa Smurf forgot to warn us that the truth can hurt. <laughs> <laughs>